there's lots of research showing that kids that can talk to their parents about sex are far less likely to get STDs or get pregnant or you know have any of these issues. Right. I remember my my parents took me to go on birth control when I was 16 years old. Um, because you know my mom was just like, well, you have a boyfriend. I know what you're doing. I don't want you to get pregnant. So we're gonna go do that. And I've never been pregnant. Yeah. Um, it's also. Um, Oh man, I had this great train of thought. Now I completely lost it. Oh, so, and, and now we run into the problem these days with the advent of the internet where now Pornhub is teaching kids mm, about sex. Right. So kids are not learning about sex from their parents. They're not learning about sex in school, but they have access to the internet. They have access to like unlimited amounts of porn and they go online and they, they watch porn and they watch things that they don't understand. And it gives them this completely skewed perspective on you know, like what girls like, because, you know, in a lot of these porn scenes, you'll see scenes where like guys are aggressively fucking girls. I mean, with my clients, I'm often being pushed to shoot really hard, aggressive scenes. I even had a client tell me the other day, you know, we really need to walk the line of consent with the sex scenes now because, you know, we're really trying to like beat out browsers and, you know, these other brands that are just killing us. And I'm just like, I don't shoot that kind of stuff. I don't. That's not my thing. That's fine if it's your thing, but that's not my thing. And so these kids, they go and they see these scenes and they think, oh, all women love to have their vagina slapped. I don't know any woman that likes to have her vagina slapped, <laughs> but for some reason we shoot it in porn all the time because it's, you know, it's kind of over the top and it catches your attention. And yeah. I mean, and even what um, a lot of my clients are looking for when they're in in these scenes is not necessarily the scene as a whole, but what we call ad moments, right? Mm. So you know when you go on to Pornhub or some other um, free tube site or wherever where you might see advertisements for other websites, they have these little GIFs that are like speeded up. Mm. And so you see this and it's very active, you know, that's Mm. why all my clients want, I shoot a lot of girl-girl scenes, they want scissoring. Because when girls are going down on other girls, there's not a lot of movement going around. Like, you know, how when guys are fucking girls, you know, obviously the bodies are moving together, but if girls are eating at a girl, both girls are kind of sedentary there. So the scissoring is something where both girls are moving around a lot. Now, I know very few girls who actually like to scissor, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that we get that very active moment in that gif and it catches people's eyes and they click on that it's like clickbait basically is what i'm shooting is clickbait so they go and they join that site and they make that money so i feel like i'm not really shooting the kind of sex that people like i'm shooting the kind of sex that gets people's attention and so they'll go and they'll join this website and then these kids are watching this thinking, oh, well, that's sex that everybody likes. That's how everyone does it. And that's just not true. Yeah. Yeah, the, the kind of sex people like isn't particularly photogenic. Right, exactly. And it's funny, yeah. too. You talk to you know, porn stars about like, what their favorite position is, and almost all of them will be like missionary you know, because like they'll say that they love to do missionary in softcore, right? Because in softcore, we can't show the penetration because in sex... In porn, we have to show the penetration because that's what people want to see. And so these people have to fuck like sideways, <laughs> you know, which is not natural at all. No yeah. one has sex like that. Yeah. So if we're shooting something where we need to shoot softcore and hide it for, you know, broadcast channels, whatever, um, that's kind of when porn stars tend to enjoy the sex more and right. can actually reach orgasm because they're not trying to open up to camera and they actually like can engage in something that feels good as opposed to what looks looks good. Right. So it's really interesting. Yeah, and getting back to evolution, we're one of only two species in the world that have sex face to face. Yes, I remember you Humans were saying and that bonobos. with the bonobos, right. right? So we have this amazing capacity to be able to look into each other's eyes when we're having sex. And weren't you saying that bonobos they they do that? They have these very deep intimate connections where they look each other bonobos in the are eyes incredible. and incredible. I mean they kiss. Yeah. Like tongue kiss, they hold hands. You know, they um, a, a female chimpanzee will not let another chimpanzee hold her baby, mm-hmm. an infant, because lots of infanticide. Right. A bonobo mother will let other bonobos carry her baby without any problem. Uh, in and bonobos 60 are years, chimps are the most closely related to us, correct? Right. In terms of the evolutionary, yeah, line. they're. They're very closely related to one another. The way I describe them is is if like if I have twin brothers, mm-hmm. 
that's the chimp and the bonobo. They're very, very closely related to each other. But after each other, I'm their next closest relative, right. a human, right? Um, but they're very different in their behavior. It's, you have to be an expert to tell them apart by looking at them. But um, behaviorally, they're, they're very different. Um, in 60 or 70 years of, of observation in captivity and in the wild, no one has ever witnessed a bonobo killing another bonobo. Or raping another bonobo. Right. Whereas chimps kill each other all the time. And there's lots of infanticide. There's what you know we call warfare between groups of chimps. And um, bonobos are, yeah, they look into each other's eyes. They um, kiss each other, hold hands, uh, have sex in all different positions. Um, different, they have same sex, a lot of same sex interaction, especially female, female. Um, they're yeah, they're fascinating and and uh, have far more in common with humans in terms of sexual behavior than any other animal. And they're the most peaceful. And they're very peaceful, yeah. Which is not to say they don't they do have hierarchies, they do have tension. Um, but Franz Duval, the the great Dutch primatologist who has studied them as much as anyone, said that chimpanzees use violence to get sex and bonobos use sex to avoid violence. Oh, so the same I thing be a bonobo. that promotes, the same thing that would trigger violence among chimps, like for example, if you have a cage full of, you know, or an enclosure full of chimpanzees and you throw a, a bag of food there, it creates tension because, uh-oh, who's going to get the food and what's going to happen? And so they'll start fighting and screaming and... Generally, what will happen is the highest ranking males who have a coalition will take the food and they might share some with a female who's ovulating because there's trading food for sex a lot. Um, But generally, they'll just keep it for themselves. Whereas if you throw a bag of food into an enclosure of bonobos, they'll look at the food. They'll all have sex with each other and then they'll (laughs) share the food. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. Because they experience the same anxiety that the chimps do. And when bonobos feel anxiety, they have sex. Well, I think that that just goes to show that we need to all be more like bonobos. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version... I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.